Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Ed. Today I'm going to show you how to make Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber from Star Wars Episode 1. So get down a pen, paper, whatever you need to write this stuff down with, because I'm going to go over with the list of the tools and materials you will need to make this project happen. And please remember to watch the entire production of this video, so in case if I miss something, you can write it down. So let's get started. Tool-wise, here's what you're going to need. You'll need a grinder with a 5 8 spindle. A 1 inch belt, 5 inch disc sander or equivalent. A heavy duty vise. A cordless or power drill. A Dremel kit with a flex shaft. A drill bit kit. A hacksaw. A pair of channel locks, 12 inch long by 5 8 diameter threaded rod, the 3 5 8 nuts, a 5 8 diameter by 2 inch long uh, threaded rod coupler. Scissors scotch tape, fine tip marker or pencil, small bungee cord, a ruler, 100 grit sandpaper, uh, plastic friendly glue or epoxy, for safety, a pair of gloves, eye protection, and hearing protection. Now for our saber parts, here's what you're gonna need. Inch and a half electrical metallic tubing, or EMT for short. Approximately two feet of one inch PVC pipe. You need at least 12 inches of inch and a quarter PVC pipe. You need a inch and a quarter PVC coupling, a one inch PVC coupling. You need about two by three just in case you mess up. Half inch IPS bell escutcheons. If you can find them in, the, in, the, in your hardware store or in a plumbing store, you find a one inch PVC end cap. This one here has a round end. You won't need that, so don't buy that one. Try and find one with a flat end. I'm going to try and substitute this uh, one inch PVC adapter to threaded adapter here. An S trap for a lavatory with a inch and a quarter inlet. You need a total of nine inch and a quarter slip joint washers. You also need a Radio Shack brand push-on, push-off switch. This is model number 275-011A. Rust-Oleum gloss black. And Rust-Oleum metallic paint, gray or silver, whichever one you prefer. Okay, so now that we have all, all of our materials down, I'm going to show you how to make a rapid sander out of your grinder. So let's get started with that. Okay, so to take our grinder here, make it into a sander, take your grinder, make sure it's not plugged in. You want to remove your retaining rings and the safety guard. Next, take your grinder and put it into the vise up to the neck of the grinder here. This will give it support on the top end. On the lower end here, while the grinder is still unplugged, take the bungee cord, take one end, put it around your swivel lock, and wrap it around the switch here of your grinder, keeping it in the on position. Okay, before I continue, 
when you when you purchase your threader rod couplers there are two types you have a thinner type in my right hand here and you have a thicker wall type here on my left hand you can see the difference here in the thickness of the metal you want to stick with the thinner ones because these are more precise than these fatter ones if you uh, turn your grinder on I'll show you what I'll show you what happens uh, that when you put your threader rod in here that the uneven uneven machining in this may cause your threader rod to wobble while you sand your um, PVC pipes or even your uh, EMT pipes. So, if you're going to purchase them, always stick with the thinner wall ones. Okay, so take your 5 8 thread rod coupler here, and with your lot with your grinder, hold down the lock and thread on the 5 8 thread rod coupler onto your grinder. Just put it on; doesn't have to be tight right now. Now take your 5 8 thread rod and two of the of your 5 8 nuts, put a set on one end, like so. Take your wrenches, tighten them down. Okay. Now take your third 5 8 nut, put it on the opposite end. Bring it up most of the way, and then start threading it into your threader rod coupler. Okay, now that it's seated, take the 5 8 nut and bring it down to the threader rod coupling. Take the channel locks, get that a nice snug fit. Now remove the assembled threader rod unit and take your Cut off a 12 inch piece of your 1 inch PVC pipe and you're going to want to slide this onto your 5 8 nuts. It will be a very snug fit. You'll probably have to take a hammer with a blunt end and probably beat on with on the opposite end of it. Use a piece of wood so that you don't crack the PVC pipe. Okay, so I used a hammer to bang my 1 inch PVC pipe here on my threader rod assembly. You can see that you want the PVC pipe just to sit right where the 5 8 nut here is up against your coupling. And on this side here, I cut off about an inch, inch and a half off of my PVC pipe here just so I wouldn't have any frayed ends when I put my inch and a quarter PVC pipe over this here. So right now, let's put this on our grinder.